Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com and my name is Jason Newland. This is Let Me Bore You to Sleep number 49. So I'm recording this on using the app for the Spreaker app but also using the uh, lapel microphone which I've never done before using that app so I'm hoping that the sound quality will be okay and if it is if it is I might start to do this a bit more often because it is easier I can just sit back in my chair um, and just talk uh, without you know any preparation or also without you know a microphone stuck in my face or a camera filming me or Potentially, you know, even going live. I mean, I do do live sessions. I've done quite a few broadcasts live, but it is not so much easier, but it's I can relax more when I'm just doing it on my own, you know, without uh, without any distractions. Because when I'm doing live broadcasts. Uh, and I, I love the idea of helping people and uh, catering for people that like the live stuff. Um, but this, this, yeah, this is quite nice to just sit here. It's about eight o'clock or something like that in the morning, maybe eight thirty. It's not a lot of light. It's it's light outside, but it's not light light, you know, because it's December, December the third, and I got Andre sleep half in a carrier bag from uh, Sports Direct, I think. It's one of his favourite carrier bags, and he's a, he's fast asleep got the windows open to let some air in and which I like to do all year round although it does get there are times when I, I need to close them when it's you know the temperature goes a bit low but I got the heating on as well I was watching television for about an hour watched the news and now it's turned that off and I yeah, so just got the birds singing in the background. And I'm kind of missing the birds a bit because during the summer they're very vocal, very early on, and they're pretty much going all day long sometimes. And they're a bit quiet at the moment. I do, it's one of my favourite sounds, is the. It's not my favourite. <laughs> it's not my favourite sound, but it's among my favourite sounds is the the sound of birds um, tweeting away, singing, dancing, whatever they're doing, whatever they're up to, doing their washing, washing up and housework or I don't know whatever they're doing in the trees. So. If you hear creaks in the background, at the moment, it is just the chair. But you know, if once you're listening to Let Me Boy to Sleep 6003, you know, episode 6003, the creaks might be me. Um, but at the moment, it is just the chair. Did I say 6,003? How many years would it be? So if I did one once a day 
for a year. So it's 365. So 10 years time, 3,650. So 20 years time, we'll be looking at the 6,000 mark. I'm 48 now. Yeah, I imagine the creaking will probably start before before I'm 70. <laughs> yeah, I've still got a, I've got a few creaks already, but you can't actually hear it. So only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. When it's completed, it will be uploaded to Spreaker. Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcast on there. I'll also upload it to SoundCloud. I'll upload it to Podbean. Um, and it'll be shared. And it'll, I'll share it on Facebook and Twitter. And upload it onto my website, jasonnewland.com, so you can download it. You'll be able to stream it on there as well. I probably won't bother converting it into a video. I'm trying to just stick to videos where I'm actually on the camera as opposed to audios turned into videos. Unless I can, I think if I was able to get some decent software where I could have a a really cool graphic spiral, um, something like really cool on the screen then I could have my voice you know underneath the the sound you know the picture not the picture like the moving image as opposed to just a a static picture so that's uh, kind of the plan again I don't know I've got no idea how long I've been talking for. Oh, oh, I'm gonna lay back. I might as well take my glasses off. I don't need my glasses on to. I've got my eyes closed. It's a bit just a bit silly, really, isn't it? It's, it's like sleeping with your socks on. Although if it's cold, I suppose you could have your socks on, but I like the freedom, you know, it's it's the little things in life, I think, that that really make a difference. Like last night, I say last night, it's about two this morning, I was <sighs> Oh, excuse me, I was really tired. And I needed to put Andre into his cage because if I don't put him in his cage, I don't get any proper sleep because he, he'll, he'll sleep for a few hours and he'll get up and start scratching at stuff and opening doors and emptying cupboards and you know, doing his thing, which uh, yeah, which means I can't close the bedroom door because he wants to get through the any any closed door. He wants to get either to the other side. It is something built within him. It's just a standard natural thing. He's not a fan of doors. Guarantee that doors were not invented by ferrets which uh, possibly might be a, a well-known fact. I don't know. I don't know. Does, does anybody know who invented the door? It's not one of those inventions that I think has really been patented. How could you patent? You go into the patent office. Yeah, I've got an invention. What is it? Well, it's a thing that blocks a gap. It fills in a gap. Fills in a. Uh, fills in a gap. You, how can you pay? 
So what is it, a rock? No, it's not a rock. Because we've already patented the rock. That's been painted. How can you patent a rock? That's just, just a natural standard thing that's in the environment. It's already there. Okay, it's like, it's nature. I don't think you need to concern yourself with that, sir. That's a completely different thing. It's someone else's business. Uh, you're not here about the rock. So why concern yourself about rocks? I was just asking. I just 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 seemed a bit a bit strange, it's like trying to patent grass or the sky. It's, well, I'm afraid those two have also been taken. Uh, if you don't have any business, perhaps you can move on. We have a queue. We've got someone wanting to patent water, and he's waiting behind you. I said no, I don't believe you. This is just silly. This whole conversation is silly. He said, "Well, why, why are you continuing it then?" I said, "Well, I don't know. Really, just done fifty, fifty-eight of these recordings, and I run out of things to talk about. Really, I just have to make stuff up. And um, I don't know why. I don't, I don't know how I even I got here. How the guy was talking about a ferret." Don't you mean you're talking about a ferret? It's Andre. He's your son. Yeah, I know, I know, but I'm just saying that's how that's how we got here in this particular conversation. So I'd like to patent this door, please. You want to paint the door? No, patent, patent, patent it. No, sorry, that's that's next door. I thought you meant paint. No, we paint things here. We're an art gallery. God, that's just silly. That's no silly than trying to patent a, a door, or a rock, or a sky, or a, a sea, or, or grass. I suppose I can't really argue with that. And why not think of other things to talk about? This, there's a whole world of possibilities when it comes to talking nonsense yeah I know but it's it, it, it's just happened naturally I wasn't planning you know I didn't write down a list of things to discuss during this recording so oh let's talk about uh, doors yeah I want to talk about doors today let's see where we can go with that I mean well, why, why would I? Why would I be that interested in talking about doors? Yeah, but you've talked about other things that were equally as pointless. Yeah, I suppose so. I suppose, yeah, yeah, I suppose. What what do you suggest then? What what could we talk about? Because, you know, what what? Well, what depends. What 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 do you? What is your intention? Or what is your intention? Well, why did you have to ask that twice? Why not just just ask the question once? I thought you know, I can understand. You know, I can hear it. So I don't know why I don't, I don't know. You did it again. You answered twice. Is that a new, or what? Well, it's something I'm trying out. I thought I'd just give it a go. I thought, well, it's a Monday morning, and uh, what can I do to brighten up the day? to make it a bit more interesting, a bit more different, maybe more memorable, without, you know, squirting chocolate all over the top of my head. And I thought, oh no, I'll just repeat stuff twice. So it's not really repeating stuff twice, is it? It's just repeating stuff. Saying stuff twice, but repeating stuff twice would be saying it four times. 
wouldn't it? I suppose. I, I don't know, really. But also, what? Let's backtrack a bit. We're talking about squirting chocolate all over the top of your head. I don't know, just just something I thought about. Well, actually, I remember once I did this. Uh, I did a video. It was uh, it was like a vlog, blog video thing, and I ate a yogurt. For some reason, I just decided just to spread the yogurt all over my face. That's the whole story, really. There wasn't anything else added to it. It's, it's, that's it. I sp just spread the yogurt all over my face. It's kind of what... I think what a child would probably want to do for fun, you know, at the dinner table, but doesn't because the child knows that they'll get in trouble, you know, with the, with the parents or whatever. But it'd be like a lot of fun to just get the yogurt and empty the contents either on yourself or on your brother or sister or you know parents or if you maybe you live with a caterpillar and the caterpillar is part of the family is eating at the table but it wouldn't really be fair because caterpillar has got such fine hairs that the yogurt would be make it a bit sticky. I can't believe we're talking about caterpillars. Imagine if anyone says, "Oh, so uh, what's the what's the subject matter of this? Let me bore you to sleep, number fifty-nine." I say, "Well, caterpillars, yogurts." And the doors, door, very much, very much doors. Yeah, definitely had a had a nice conversation about doors. Sometimes it's necessary to, you know, and uh, just did I did, did oh I'm not sure if I did. Did I explain what this recording's about? This. I've been doing a lot of stretching lately, trying to stretch my lower back and my body and trying to just, it's kind of like really micro yoga. It's maybe doing some of the positions, but the very beginning part. So instead of the bit where I'd be standing on my head, I do the bit where I'm standing on my feet. So I do that bit. But it's, you know, it's all, I think physical movement of the body has a lot of benefit by that I mean just physically moving even if it's slow movement in fact sometimes slow movement mindful movement is really beneficial it's a very meditative kind of State, and whenever I say the word meditative, meditative, apart from the fact it's meditative, I, I'm not sure how many T's it has in it. Meditative, meditative, meditative. So the idea of these sessions is that I just talk and talk and talk 
and there's not really any not really any point necessarily to what I'm talking about and it doesn't need to be because it's all about just letting go and the thing is the more you listen to my voice the more relaxed you naturally feel kind of instantly so it gets to a point where you you don't just feel a sense of well-being and relaxation when you see me on a video or when you hear my voice it's also that sense of even thinking about me can trigger that feeling of calmness looseness letting go which can feel quite nice and it happens naturally you know, I'm not saying to you every time you hear my voice you will naturally feel more relaxed ten nine eight seven I'm going to get to one that trigger of my voice will automatically cause you to feel completely relaxed five four three Two, one, ping. So it's not really about trying to cause that sense of calmness to occur naturally because that's kind of the whole point. It occurs naturally. And recently been asked how I do what I do it's not not just about the talking complete rubbish and being really boring because I do do other stuff and I've been thinking about it I've been giving it some thought which is the same sentence really isn't it thinking about it and giving it thought I've been thinking about giving it some thought and decided to do exactly that. Therefore, thought was given towards this particular subject. And I pondered upon the question how I accomplish or go about what I do or why I do what I do and what my intentions are regarding my behaviour hypnotically or therapeutically in this way and I think that you know some of it is trying to think of a way to explain it in order for me to understand it Uh, let me think I suppose okay let's think of if you've got a yeah if you've got a garden that's overgrown it could be the most overgrown garden ever no pavement no uh, you know concrete pathway or anything 
but there's a shed at the bottom of the garden and there's there is a pathway there's you know maybe four or five foot of ground five foot wide rather and however long between walking onto the grass you know how the back door maybe and entering the the door we're back to doors again see everything, everything links together it's very well planned these you think I'm just talking about nothing but no I spend I spend hours and hours and hours writing this script and um, and you know I don't at all I'm joking I, I spend seconds prep, seconds preparing for this so you've got that thinking back again to the the pathway so the grass is absolutely wild at this. it could be like six foot tall weeds and you know I've lived in places like that not in the actual grass I lived in the building uh but you know the, the the garden was outside with the grass but there's this pathway maybe five foot wide and you know it might be 20 30 foot long because of the the distance whatever the distance is between the beginning of the grass and the shed at the maybe the bottom of the garden but that's all clear it's not clear because it's been cut or it's been trimmed it's clear because, because it's been used because that's the route or route that somebody has used maybe every day for years walking up and down the garden back and forward from the shed maybe a few times a day so in a way that's what these sessions are and you may question that thinking so these audios and videos that I make they are basically an overgrown garden no that's not the point that's not what I'm saying what these sessions are is making that pathway so that you can experience the feeling easy easily maneuver between the feeling between the thinking and the feeling of uh, let's say self confidence so you can hear my voice or th even just think about me and that would be the equivalent of just walking down that pathway open the door of that shed and you've got that sense of comfort familiarity maybe excitement and it depends what you're what you're doing in the shed I guess a lot of people would have hobbies and uh, maybe collections or maybe just enjoying the peacefulness of being in that safe space now so there's that connection, there's that clearing the way so that the traffic moves smoothly, easily, naturally. I like to say the word naturally, 
Yes, I do. That's what I want these sessions to be. That's I want everything to to just be natural, you know. You know, things like relaxation can't be forced. You can't force yourself to really feel a specific way. Feelings and emotions are natural processes. Just in the same way that feeling comfortable calm, relaxed, uh, pain-free, you know, it's, there's those things that are just naturally occurring, so that maybe before you decided to listen to me today, you might have had a, a physical ailment or physical issue that you weren't best pleased with. You know, maybe that was caused you a few problems. But now, you notice that that part of your body actually feels different. Whether it's the increased sense of relaxation. Whether it is just that you've let go. There could be a degree of distraction, but then if it is just distraction, how come it still feels comfortable now, even when you focus on it? which just goes to show how amazing your mind is when you reconnect your mind and your body all of those parts of your body connected back with your mind so that your mind can do its job your brain can do its job of healing and keeping those physical processes working properly because sometimes it can be maybe possibly a sense or an idea or a, maybe even a fact that there are times when our bodies parts of our bodies and our brain somehow disconnect. For instance, things like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome or whatever it's called. So basically by reconnecting your brain your mind to that part of the body then allows that part of the body to work correctly again. Because sometimes it's, you sometimes feel as if parts of our body have just broken away and gone and done their own thing, you know and maybe not checked in with the the head office as it were which is the mind when the fact is no part of the body can operate and function correctly without the mind Because the mind is the control center. So in order for you to feel physically well, 
the mind needs to have that connection to every part of your body so as to even out those issues that were there before you decided to reconnect every part of your body with your mind because your mind knows that it's an example if someone's got a broken bone they have that physical soreness and pain to ensure that they don't put any pressure upon that broken bone until it's healed that's the only reason the pain is there once you realize that actually and recognize that actually and connect your mind with that part of your body and examine the facts that you're aware that you know not to put pressure on that part of your body for five, six weeks and you know to be careful then you don't need any physical reminders unless you were to put pressure on that part which in a way frees up frees your mind frees your thoughts giving you there's less worries there's less stuff to need to think about even though I'm sure we all think about things that we don't necessarily need to think about or to consider So yeah, it's quite, it's quite a wonderful opportunity to get in touch with that sense of your brain, your mind connected to every part of your body so that your mind can then take over control making sure that each part of your body works correctly easily and naturally leading you to feeling more comfort much 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 more of a sense of oneness feeling a sense of contentment
although the idea of connecting your mind and brain, reconnecting to every single part of your body, may feel like a big challenge or possibly overwhelming, but the fact is that it feels more relaxing to have that peace of mind. Knowing that everything is going to be okay. Knowing that you can enjoy being the person that you are. having faith and trust in your own natural abilities to heal your body allowing yourself to enjoy the peacefulness that comes from having trust with yourself. Having that sense of safety that you can appreciate this feeling in your mind connected to a part of your body
and sleepy, even more sleepy. Sleepier than before. in those connections between your mind and each part of your body. You can enjoy that feeling enjoy function of your body is supplied by your brain. every second that connection that reconnecting between your mind and your different parts of your body strengthens Right. 
takes us nicely to the end of this let me bore you to sleep number 49 or is it 59 yeah I think it's 59 wow it'll soon be 60 and you listen to my recordings mp3s videos whatever the more you watch or listen the more you can gain Just let go.